I just read last night in a book, and this person was talking about the fact that a story told often enough, frequently enough, repeated enough, becomes accepted as the truth, whether it is or it isn't. So guys, here's a story that's been told. You have to grid sample. I can remember when they started grid sampling and nobody wanted to do it. They had all the reasons why they shouldn't. And now we're at the stage where everybody says you have to do that. Where do we land? Do we believe in grid sampling? Absolutely. If you're trying to adjust your calcium, you're trying to adjust your pH, and those are not the same, that's another video. But if you're trying to adjust your pH and or your calcium, grid sampling is a really good idea because we wanna make sure we're not getting one area too high while another area is too low. From a nutrient standpoint, if we've got a problem area in the field, we're gonna test it separate. But overall, what do we really believe in? Equal opportunity nutrition for every plant in the field. So that means we take a composite and we apply NPK, the micros and the secondaries, exactly as that soil test calls for. And what have we got to back this up? Yield maps. And if you'd like to see those yield maps, reach out.